Hello, hello, here is Copper, Silver and Steel. Welcome back to the Off-Grid Solution Series. Today I will show you how to prepare an MC4 connection, how to distinguish which is plus, which is minus. So if you are interested in, just stay tuned and we will start in a moment. All right, so this is, a, let's call it a solar panel. If you take a look at any solar panel, at any producer, Chinese, American, whatever, in Europe, uh, it should probably, in 99%, have these two kinds of sockets. Um, so, if you take a look at the panel, not the inverter, but the panel side, uh, you will see two sockets like this. And now let's take a look about this one. It's called the male socket. Why male? Well, basically sometimes it has this red ring, but it's not the rule. Basically, uh, it has thicker but longer part. So we call it male. And the male from the panel, it is the plus, the positive connection, because all the panels produces DC current. So in DC current, we have plus and minus part or positive and negative depending on where you live and how you call it. so this is the male connection and from the panel it has the positive uh, positive side okay the second one it's called the male connection and as you can see there is no part actually uh, the male enters the female socket of course, don't do this on the real uh, solar panel because you make a shortcut. But um, from the panel side, this is the negative cord, the negative, you know, socket uh, or minus. So this is what you need to know. And if you're connecting panel to another panel to another panel and you are making a series of panels, so you are connecting negative to positive, negative to positive, and the voltage sum up. So if you have one panel, which is, let's say, 40 volts, and you connect plus to minus, and at the end you will get plus and minus, so the voltage will be 30 plus 30, means 60 volts and this connection could go to the solar inverter depending on the voltage of the inverter but today video is about mc4 connection and i will show you how to do this so basically if you buy a socket mc4 connection uh, you get separate females and males so you are basically ordering mostly the same number, the same amount of female and male connector, depending on how much you need it. But if you are connecting in series and you want to go from the roof to your solar inverter, you will probably need uh, 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 at least four connections, but depending on the project, depending on your situation, maybe if you have a parallel connection, you will need more. But this is not a topic for today. Today I will show you how to use crimping pilas to make this connection great. How to use isolation a stripper, uh, automatic wire stripper. Actually, there's a separate video on this. Please check the video. And now let's take a look how this socket looks like. Because I have here a part of six millimeters a solar cable. We will remove the isolation insulation from it and then we strip the connection so first i will take the female connection female no part it's bigger in here and basically for a female this is only the plastic part but also you need the very important stuff which is this metal connection uh, copper probably uh, and here will be our connection this is how it looks all right so basically you need a tool called uh, crimping piler which actually do something like this 
And if you take a look, your crimping pilot should be for 6.0 millimeters square and wire because if you in the solar systems in DC side you mostly we mostly use 604 millimeters square in American wire gauge it will be 12 10 all 12 AVG so what do you need of course first of all we need to remove insulation how long how much Let's take a look at this example. This is too much. Why? Because the stripped wire cannot go in here. It should end somewhere here. I mean, a few millimeters, two millimeters after this part ends. I hope it's seen. I hope it will be easy to see. But I will show you this example. So depending on the producer, most of the people uh, claims that it should be for about five to six millimeters. Uh, if you take an experience, you will probably know how much is it for this tool, how to set it. All right. I know it will be something like this. Um, in my case, it was two uh, two steps on this tool, but the, you probably have a different tool, so you need to try. Okay, so let's make the first attempt, and we will see. All right, so I have removed the insulation. We can take the measuring tool to see how much we get. Um, so this is probably... Yeah, six millimeters. Now it's six millimeters. Let's compare it to here. And I think it's 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 perfect. Uh, because we are at, we are outside the lock, but we do not enter this area. So how to make this box? Well, as I said, we need this tool. So we are putting, and this tool has this notch in here, and this will be the upper part. So we are preparing this by easily holding. Sometimes you could squeeze a little bit this, but not too much because we still need to enter the wire in here. So we are entering the 6.0. Ooh socket again it's very diff difficult to uh, record and do something okay so we are holding it now in this position we are taking our wire we are putting it in here i would like to work with light so you will be able to see so I'm putting it in this maybe from this side. So basically I'm putting till the end. I mean I don't want to crimp the insulation, only the part. And this is how it should look like. As I said, um I need some pointer in here. Maybe this. Some part of wire should be outside this, you know, closed part, but you, it cannot be too much farther here. So this is basically how it should look like. Okay. Of course, you need to check if it's if, if it fits. Okay. You are not able to move anything here, so it's very nice. Of course, you need to practice it before starting using on real production. Okay. So it was the female connector. It looks like this MC4 female connector. We are now taking it and moving it a little bit until it clicks. Because 
here are some notches. So listen. And now we are very happy because almost we are almost done. I need to find my keys. So please give me a second. I need to go for it because I have forgotten them. All right, so this is how it looks. The Solar MC4 Key 2. Uh, it basically can hold a female connector in here or male connector in here. And you actually need two of those to make it working nice. I need to find my second one, but if you are turning on this until it will be sealed. Actually, um, I need to find it. I don't know where it is. But after some kind of experience, you will know that this connection could be, you know, twisted in hands, but not too far because we don't want to break this uh, connection. Okay. The whole idea of this process is to seal. Here is a um, o-ring. Here is some kind of rubber sealing. So we are doing it in here. Not too much force, only in hands or using two of these plastics. So you are squeezing it then and it's not. So nice and clean connection, female socket. All right, so for the other side, we will make a male socket. So, okay, I strongly recommend you to hold them female and male sockets in a separate bags because at the beginning you could be concerned and you can, uh, you know, mess up with this um, metal parts because um, of course it's easy to distinguish the um, plastic cover but you may have some problems with distinguish which is one. So this is how looks the male socket and uh, the core, the metal core of this is also a little bit different. It's bigger, it's longer because it stands in here. Okay. So the operation is actually the same like for a female socket. So we need to remove the insulation by this automatic wire stripper. Bang. I think it will be okay, but we can try. So we need to move it like this. I think it's perfect. And if you are entering the crimping pile, just remember not to enter with this like this, because we only need to crimp the wire to wire, metal to metal, yeah, copper to copper. All right, so it will be like this. Okay, so again, you can squeeze it a little bit. It will be easier to hold with one hand. We are entering the socket six. Yep, so not to start to squeeze too early. And we are putting the wire. And squeeze. Let's examine it. It's not super perfect because we are on the edge. But yes, I will accept this because um, we can actually see the wires. Yes. The, the reason why it should be a little bit outside is because we want to have all this connection because DC current and eddy current works perfectly if it has a lot of, you know, square to flow. Okay. So we want to be sure that all this area will be in touch. So there will be a good connectivity because bad connectivity means temperature, temperature rising and even the fire. Yeah. So we want to examine our connections where they are online on a full sun. A good thing is to have a thermal camera, thermal sensor, 
but it's a topic for another another day all right so we are taking our part i'm still wondering where is the second of my tools but i will find it in the next video okay so we are entering and we are looking for a click click yeah and now we can squeeze it i'm using the technique without this tool but i strongly recommend you to have one because it has also this tool and here to to i will show you in a second so we are squeezing in a hand with my index finger and if i'm not able to move it more i stop because it means that it is sealed and you don't you you cannot use any other tools like this plastic or your bare hands to make this connection because more can damage the socket all right so now we have a connection nice red wire and we could make the connection and now oh my god what to do to disconnect it there's mc4 has this so you are putting it in here and remember do not disconnect until load under load and if you do this so those two notches will be squeezed you are easily disconnect so this is how you can disconnect all right so i think it's all for now for this video thanks for watching um in the next video i will show you more in this topic how to build anything in the off-grid system so if you like this channel don't forget to subscribe give me a thumb up and give any comment if you have there will be soon more videos so now we know how to make the mc4 connections the mc4 cable we also know from the panel side which is positive which is negative and soon we will learn more see you later